Welcome back everyone, welcome to Project Castaway and you find us in extremely choppy waters here as you can see, <laughs> we're in the middle of a storm uh, sailing over to another island here that one really caught my attention as well that's just come to light as we've been sailing that looks like it could be buildings over there right, we have landed let's uh, oh. lower the sails should be okay I think we are in the middle of a storm here We've come over to an island, there's the home island, there's where we've been. I saw this one off in the distance and wanted to see what we could find. I do have a bow and arrow this time, I've wised up a little bit as well, <laughs> as you can tell. But we've come weaponised, we are invading this island here. We've got a wooden spear, we've got a bow and arrow, and we've got our trusty axe as well. I think, first things first, let's just quickly bring a tree down just so we can get a coconut here first thing we do on the island is just cause destruction <laughs> deforestation as soon as we land I just want to grab that there let's eat that coconut right let's see what we've got around here is that a sticky note over there I think it might be let's grab that there the radio tower Let's get to that in a moment. Let's just have a quick recce around before we start reading things. There's another one over there. Look at this. The radio tower. Two sticky notes as soon as we land. Crazy. Uh, that's not going to hurt us. Look at that island over there now. So what we thought was barren sea. Oh. That's the last inhabitant of the island here. <laughs> what's left of him his bits everywhere there cloth ok nothing around here for us we've set up a, a little base on the previous island as well nothing much, nothing much special but just in the cave look at this message in a bottle as well we just set a little bed up and a fire just somewhere, somewhere to rest for us Anything else on the shore immediately? Doesn't look like it. Right, can we maybe try and climb up here? Uh, whoop, shit. Another blueprint here. Pro Protexime spray? I've absolutely no clue what that could be. <laughs> uh, Any way we can get up here, let's have a look. Oh my god. Is it? No. I thought it was trying to attack me. Uh, I think maybe if we go along this way here. And maybe... Let's try jumping up here. Yep. Right, let's make the climb. Sure, we'll slip and fall to our deaths here in this rain. Uh, this isn't safe whatsoever. <laughs> uh, where the hell now? Uh, gotta be this way right yeah all we need here is one spider to come running at us <laughs> and we are going flying ah there is nothing it would seem nothing here at all Ooh. Uh, let's just be careful coming down here right little bird's nest Right, there's nothing actually here. Oh my god! Okay, so fall damage <laughs> really hurts. And you don't have to fall from very high of a height either. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, nothing much along here for us at all, is there? Metal sheets, don't need. We can do a supply run here, I guess, can't we? Um, wow, okay. Let's tell you what then. Just quickly take the opportunity for another coconut. Make sure we're fully up on our thirst. Oh, it's going to fall on us. Whoa. And let's eat that one too. 
Right. Where next? Where should we go next? Bird. <laughs> There's one over there. I will read the notes that we found as well. And I actually found a further two bottles on the previous island. Um, when I was actually watching the edit back of the video that I made, I realised I literally walked straight past two. <laughs> Two bottles without even realising. Um, so we've got those to read too. Um, so there's not a great deal here. I want to see what's over there. Um, I'm trying to think where's the best to go. Do you know what? Let's see what it is. What's the worst that can happen? Let's get up on here. Open our sails real quick. Uh, can we turn? Yes, we've got it. Let's go. Oh no, I have to get off the edge of the coast here. Keep going, keep going. Right. Off we go. Another island over there, so we could maybe hop onto that one too. If we start getting tired, that's my main worry right now. Let's head over there. Right, while we're making the journey, guys, let's see what notes we found here too. Just gotta do that. Crouch. Off of the... Oh god! Oh my god! I've wrecked it! Oh, it's sailing away from me! Shit here now! Right, let's... <laughs> let's not read any notes then while we're on the boat. Let's get over there first. We'll make the, the journey, guys. I'll see you over there on this island, whatever this is. Alcatraz, by the looks of it. And we'll go through the notes there. So we'll catch you then. Right, we are on the island. We are clearly not the first people to have been here. Size that starfish, man. That is enormous. Imagine if that just jumped and got all to your face. <laughs> like a face hugger, man. Um, right, okay. Look at this. Somebody has made a home here before us. Banana leaves. Oh, my word. Oh, look at this. A box as well. Tea bags everywhere. Is that a beer? Is that a bottle of beer? Beer bottle. Oh, can you imagine? Soda pop. Wow. Brewing cup. Fresh. Ambient temperature. Rotten salmon. Oh, we don't want that, do we? Um, who has been here? Can we uh, maybe put a bed in there and just light a fire? Uh, let's just have a quick look here, just so we've got somewhere to stay. Palm bed, will it actually fit under there? Uh, if we rotate it. Yes, perfect. Oh, place. Right, cool. Uh, palm frond. Right, let's just take a few moments to help ourselves here. Um, I hope this doesn't land on the camp. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Brand new camp. Oh, not the tent! Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, no way. Right. Add that. Let's have a coconut. Because we need to start a fire, really, too, here, actually, I think, because uh, we're just a touch tired. Right, we should have enough palm leaves here now too. Perfect, right, let's just drop those down. Um, uh, it's a bit of a nightmare here because we need a covered fire ideally. Um, right, guys, we've got fire. We've got a little bit there. Um, I trust that this won't burn me tent down. <laughs> I've put it under the tent as much as possible, so I do think that we're going to be okay. Uh, I think we're all good for tiredness here, so let's just have a little mooch, shall we? Let's see what we can find. Got me bow out. Bit of a a knack to shoot in the boat. It's got an arc on it, quite quite an arc that you need to really get the hang of. I've missed quite a few shots already, <laughs> as you'd expect. Oh no. Horn, it's back. Do him. Yes, got him. Quick 
quickly smash up a stone here actually you know take a couple of little bits be perfect now on the other island i was able to craft an axe and there's actually gold ingots believe it or not uh, that i've been able to smash up but i don't have the crafting ability just yet to do anything with those ingots there's a flag over there too Shit, massive stuff. Don't see these are crazy big. Look at that. American flag. Could this be where the soldier eventually went over to? Oh Christ. Oh That was lucky. Go oh, my god. Um Logs. Whoa, what on earth just happened then? Med case there. Um these look like foundations to something. Blueprint here. Oasis seasoning, very nice. Okay. I'm just trying to keep a little eye out for any blueprints, anything that look like uh, might look like notes. And if not, then we're gonna climb up there and see what's what. Uh, the boat is over there, but it's... Oh, shit. Oh, no, again. Right, come on. Prepared for you this time. Oh, it's hit its foot. Oh, run away. Uh, right, turn and shoot. Shit. Right, come on. I've got it in... What the hell just happened there? Shoot it in the ass. Right, it's riddled with arrows here. Your health is low and I'm out of ammo. Out of ammo? <laughs> out of arrows. Oh, I don't believe it. Uh, right, let's quickly... Look at all the arrows sticking out of it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Arrow. Right. Come on, cat. See if I can get the, ar the arc right. No, I can't. Oh, I don't believe that. One more try. I should just be able to run at it now surely uh, pick up this other arrow too oh god headshot there we go right that is riddled look at it one two three four f five arrows for the leopard six there's a sick there as well oh look I can take the tooth that is so cool. Um, or at least we got some leopard meat now. Um, I could have sworn I had another arrow that I missed that flew over here. Maybe not. Get some small sticks. Right, what else? This is just all sorts here, isn't there? Look. Loads of stones here. I wonder if this was put in by the devs to be like the main home island type thing you know like once you've managed to escape your island that you start on because look at that over there that looks so cool um i want to know how to get look there's another oh look at that right let's get up there let's get safe or as safe as we possibly can gotta be aware Fancy find another leopard out here. Can you believe it? Just a crab. Um, right, seriously, how on earth are we going to get up there? Uh, this this one here. Maybe try. Shit, got it. Right, keep going. Right, keep our fingers crossed. No insects here. Can we build a bridge somehow? Imagine you on that engineering project? <laughs> Just a bug. Look at this. Another... Oh, Christ. What on earth? Oh, shit. Is that a black widow? I think it was. Yes, it was. Sleeping next to a black widow, man. Of all things. Oh, no. Look at this poor guy. Gold arrow. Come on. What's he got there? Oh, he's stabbed a bl Oh, no, it's two people. Oh, no. 
Well, that's actually... <laughs> that's a real shame that... Um, that's fresh. Should we drink it? Um, oh, we just took the brewing cup. Any energy bar, bandage, antibiotics. Gold knife. Oh, guys. What a shame. SOS. Oh, no. That's obviously I glitched on that log there. <laughs> SOS. Oh. So I wonder if there's anything to be revealed over here. Um, let's um, let's check our notes that we found. Quite a bit of reading to do here, I think. So apologies in advance. As always, I'll give you the uh, the bits to skip. But we've got bottled notes here. Uh, so it was. Claire's letter, here we go. My dearest Emma, you were a light in our darkest times, a beacon of hope and joy. From the moment I met you, I thought of you as my own daughter. Your laughter, your curiosity and your boundless energy brought life to our weary hearts. I remember how I used to find beauty in the smallest things, a seashell, a flower, the way the sun set over the ocean. You taught me to see the world through the eyes of a child, to find wonder and magic even in the midst of despair. I loved you as if you were my own, and in my heart you were. I will never forget the way you called me ma'am, the way you held my hand, the way you trusted me to keep you safe. It breaks my heart that I couldn't protect you, that I couldn't save you from the cruel fate that took you away from us. Every night I whisper your name to the stars, hoping that somehow you can hear me. I miss you so much, my sweet girl. I miss your hugs, your kisses, your endless questions about the world. I miss the way you made, made I guess, everything seemed brighter even when we were surrounded by darkness. I carry you with me, Emma, in my heart, in my thoughts, in every breath I take. You are a part of me, and I will never let you go. I promise to keep your memory alive, to remember the love and joy you brought into our lives. You will always be my daughter, and I will always be your mother. Until we meet again, my precious Emma, know that I love you more than words can ever express. You are my sunshine, my angel, my heart, with all my love, ma'am. That's horrible, isn't it? Uh, Tommy's letter to Emma again. Dear Emma, I miss you so much. It's really hard here without you. You were always so brave and happy, and you made everything better. I think about you every day. I wish you were still here with us. I'm trying to be strong like you were. Jake and I are taking care of Mam. She's really sad, and sometimes she cries a lot. I try to help her, but it's hard. I feel like it's my fault that you're gone. I should have done more to protect you. I'm sorry, Emma. I remember all the fun we had together, exploring the islands and finding cool things. You always found the best shells and rocks. I still have that special shell you gave me. It's my lucky charm, and I carry it with me everywhere. Mum says you're in a better place now, and that you're watching over us. I hope that's true. I hope you're happy and safe. I wish I could see you again, just one more time, to tell you how much I love you, and how sorry I am. I promise I'll take care of Mum and Jake. I'll try to be as brave and strong as you were. I hope you're proud of me, wherever you are. I'll never forget you, Emma. You'll always be my little sister, and I'll always love you. Love, Tommy. So I guess they're uh, writing notes to Emma after she's passed. Part of the, the grieving process, presumably. But that's uh, that's tragic, really, isn't it? I'm, I'm guessing that isn't Emma behind us. Um, it must be potentially like a... I'm guessing a man and a woman, to be fair. Um, but another note here... For, uh, William's letter at this time I am William Hargrove a sailor aboard the merchant vessel Neptune's Bounty a sudden violent storm drove us off course and onto the treacherous rocks of this deserted island the ship is wrecked beyond repair and many of my comrades were lost to the sea those of us who survived are now marooned with dwindling supplies and no means of communication we've tried signalling for help but our efforts have been in vain it's as if the world has forgotten us food has become scarce and fresh water is becoming harder to find. The island feels cursed. Strange sounds echo through the night, and our fires often go out without explanation. I've seen remnants of previous castaways, old campsites, tattered clothing, and bones bleached by the sun. It's clear we are not the first to suffer this fate. If you find this letter, please alert the authorities and send rescue. Our hopes fade with each passing day. 
but perhaps this message can bring us salvation. William Hargrove. So people are just constantly, constantly getting stuck and lost, washed up here. Rotten salmon. Yep, don't want that, do we? Hmm. There's definitely a lot more to the island than we've so far discovered, isn't there? I think, without a doubt. Um, I just wonder if we can maybe get up there. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, actually. Very tired, you need to sleep. Let's uh, have a quick rest. Do we need to go back down? Should be okay here, right? Right, so we have hit night time on this island here. Um, I'm going to quickly head back down. This is clearly the easiest way up, wasn't it? <laughs> that I've just missed. I'm going to head back down to... Um, oh, I don't want to fall this height. Right. Should have the fire going still. Uh, there's our raft. Plenty of, plenty of materials here for us to build stuff with. So much wood, stones, there's plenty of metal. Thought that was something in the water next to the raft there. That looks like it's barely floating anymore now. Might have to try and um, maybe add something to the bottom of that to, <laughs> to keep it afloat. There are barrels here and obviously we've got plenty of wood for logs. So I could actually maybe uh, top it up even further. Stabilise that. Oh Christ, the fire's just gone out this second. I don't know why I needed the fire actually, thinking about it. I think I've got everything cooked already. There we go. Nice. Um... Take a small stick there. Small stick, small stick. Uh, let's get something to eat quickly. I'm probably going to need something to... Oh, no. It... Oh, look at that. That's going to have to go. Shame. I best eat this quick now, then. That's stagnant ambient temperature. Fresh, let's drink. So there's our gold shard. Um, message in bottles, that's what we've just recently found. But we do have. I'm sorry, this video is going to be a lot of reading, guys. Um, how do I make tea? I need to find this out. <laughs> how do I make tea? Um, we can also take this, I presume. Water bottle. Stagnant. Is this... Can we cook on here? Take that and just drop it back in the ocean. Uh, right. If we start... Oh, we can't even do anything with it. Right. That's fair enough. Um, right. We're good for food. Good for water. Let's just kneel by the fire here. Like I say, I'm sorry this is going to be an awful lot of reading. Um, but let's just check this radio tower... Uh, seen that one, seen that one. Got the power box key. Right, I just quickly checked what was in my pad because I have been actually writing these down <laughs> as I go, believe it or not. So these are the ones that we haven't seen so far. So, as I say, sorry that it's uh, a lot of reading on this uh, video so far, guys, but uh, you guys might want to hear the law as much as I do. So, Chaos, June 15th, 1985. Everything has descended into chaos. Sam and I were discovered, and it's all gone to hell. It started when a routine inspection of the platform tower turned into a nightmare. The tower was gone, vanished into thin air, along with half the crew who were stationed there. Entire islands that were visible just the day before have disappeared without a trace. Panic spread like wildfire. The supervisors tried to contain the situation, but fear and frustration boiled over. People were desperate for, for I presume, answers, desperate to survive. During the commotion, a riot broke out. One of the crew members, driven mad by the stress, killed a supervisor. The other supervisor, in a panic, started shooting to defend himself. It was pure chaos. People running, screaming, fighting. The smell of gunpowder and blood filled the air. Sam and I knew we had to get out. In the midst of the madness, we managed to sneak away from the main camp and head for the shore. 
we've decided to take our chances on our own. Staying with the group is no longer an option. It's too dangerous, too unpredictable. We found a small, secluded cove where we've set up a makeshift camp. It's not much, but it's safer than being in the middle of that insanity. We brought what supplies we could carry, but it won't last long. We need to find a more permanent solution if we're going to survive. The island is changing, becoming more unpredictable. We've seen strange lights in the distance and heard noises that don't belong. It's like the island itself is alive, shifting and morphing. We don't know what's causing it, but we need to stay vigilant. Despite the chaos, we're still determined to uncover the truth. We've hidden the old journal and our notes in a secure spot in our new camp. Every night we pore over the journal, trying to decipher its secrets. It's going slow, but we're making progress. Marcus didn't make it out with us. I fear for his safety, but there was no way to reach him in the chaos. I hope he finds a way to survive. We'll keep an eye out for him, but right now we need to focus on staying alive. The next digit is 3. For our code. Alone. June 23rd, 1985. Sam and I managed to find the island with the platform tower. It was badly damaged by the storms, but it was still standing. While scavenging for materials, we discovered an abandoned ship that had drifted near us. After two long months, we were able to make it function. I've just seen something there running like hell. So I need to keep an eye out here because I don't know if I can still get attacked. Hmm. After two long months, we were able to repair it and make it functional. We started to believe that an escape plan was within our grasp. Our goal was to get out of here and expose Mordenpol's twisted secrets. During our scavenger, scavenging trips, we found various wrecks scattered throughout the region, evidence of countless failed attempts to escape. Random objects, some mundane and some bizarre, have been washing up on shore, things that don't make any sense. Sam has become more captivated by the mystery of this place. I, on the other hand, try to focus solely on repairing the tower and preparing for our escape. Without Sam, I would have lost my sanity long ago. I don't even know how long we've been here anymore. Could be months, could be years. Sam had a strange dream last night. He woke up with a breakthrough, deciphering the old journal. The symbols and carvings we've been studying seemed to click for him, but our progress came at a cost. We got into a heated argument while running low on food. Sam wanted to follow the direction he saw in his dream, convinced it would lead us to something crucial. I insisted we head towards a crash site I'd identified to gather more oil to power our trip back home. We set out on the boat, tensions high. As fate would have it, we got caught in a violent storm. The boat was wrecked and in the chaos, Sam was swept away from me. His last words, shouted over the roar of the waves, were, I got it, I think I got it. I know what Mordenpol was after. Before he drifted out of sight, I never saw him again. Since then, I've developed a paralysing fear of the sea. I keep waiting, hoping against hope that Sam or someone else might drift ashore. But the days turn into weeks and my hope fades. I curse my own weakness and hate what I've become. The only thing that keeps me going now is the thought of helping those who might come after me. I've decided to leave behind what I can. Notes, maps and whatever supplies I manage to gather. I do everything in my power to aid any unfortunate soul who ends up on this godforsaken island. Modern Paul's secrets must be exposed and I pray that someone stronger than me will find a way to do it. And the last digit, two. So we found it, 699232 to get into the lockbox which is out of sight. <laughs> is it there? Is it that island? It seems so far away now. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's uh, get another couple of sticks on the fire there. I think we're going to need to rest up, wait for the storm to pass and then head over to the island. So I think I'm going to do that and I will catch you back over there guys on the very very first island let's head up that tower oh shit what, what was that did you hear that that can't have just been me that was a it's again there it's, there it is what is it A spider. Shh. 
shit it is. Oh man, where the... It's not my beer over. It's fucking spider. Take my beer out, man. Um, oh, we've got a coffee berry, brewing... Oh, brewing cup, is that how we make coffee? Anyway, right, guys. <laughs> I'm going to look into this a little bit more and I will see you back over on... It's not even that island, is it? It's just completely out of sight. The very first island. And let's see if we can get into that lockbox. Right, here we are, guys, after the longest boat journey in history. <laughs> it took an absolute age. We should be looking at uh, 6, 9, 9, 2, 3... Two. Here we go. What have we got? Use the GPS radar. Click the selection wheel. I don't even have a selection wheel, do I? What the hell's a selection wheel? I have to check the controls for that. <laughs> but we've apparently got a GPS thing, and there we go. GPS tablet. Global positioning system developed by Modern Pol needs to be paired with other GPS tags and specific radio signals to function properly. Congratulations on making it this far. If you're reading this, you've proven to be a true survivor. This GPS radar will help you keep track of the tower and your current location. It's not much, but it's a lifeline. As my last wish, I ask you to find the remains of my best friend Sam Reynolds. He's out there somewhere. With him, you'll find special GPS satellites these devices can be placed down anywhere to help you track down essential resources and navigate the treacherous islands. They will guide you just as Sam guided me. Good luck. May these tools help you uncover the truth and find your way to safety. Ah, oh, well, there we go. So it says it, it's stuck at 25%, which is strange. Um, I would have thought I've kind of found that now. Um, how the hell do I get this selection wheel um ah alt wow right so uh backpack look at this left arm right arm journal tape play gps radar it's not on it's not doing anything <laughs> i wonder if i need to repair this get it functioning right with that that is where we are going to leave it for today's episode. I am really excited to hopefully get this booted up here, find out where it's going to lead us to. I hope you are too. If you are, drop a like, leave me a comment, let me know if there's any puddles that I've missed like I did in the last episode or anything else. Uh, and as always, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd be extremely grateful if you could do so. But for now, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See you then. <laughs>